What's up, YouTube? You're looking at a reel of some of the movies that made our top three worst movies of the last five years. Stay tuned to see if any of your worst movies made our list. And if you're just now finding my channel for the first time, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you're down every time we drop a brand new Life Games video. Also, follow me on Stardust. It is an app where I do 30-second reviews of movies and trailers and TV shows. And also, follow me on Patreon. That is a great site to support YouTubers such as myself and others that you love that are doing great content, giving you a little bit of entertainment value. Let's go ahead and jump into the video to see what is our top three worst movies in the last five years. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Mr. Damn All Everything, Sexy as Hell host. I'm here with my big homie, Brian. What's going on, guys? We talking about the worst movies of the last five years. Leave me a comment, what are your five, three worst movies in the last five years? Brian, I'm gonna let you start it off, but first, let me put on these plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell. Work on skilling up this crap to give y'all a better review and something better to look at. Y'all know how we gotta do. We gotta be cute when we're telling y'all the worst movies in the last five years. So what are your top three? We'll t let's just go with your top three. Okay. Then we'll break them down and we'll do mine. Then we'll break them down. Okay, I'm gonna say Ghost in the Shell. I'm gonna say The Mummy. The Mummy. And I'm gonna have to say... Mm, that's a tough one, man. For number one, that's a tough one. Ghost in the Shell, that was with Scarlett Johansson. Yes, that came out God. on my birthday, 2017. I'll remember it to the day I died. Scarlett, baby, I love you. But stick to the Avenging, sweetheart. Stick to the Avenging. And The Mummy with Tom Cruise, I'm gonna just go ahead and say, that is on my list. I left out of that movie in a tragic form. I, I was dejected. It was literally like I went in there and found out my wife was screwing Tom, Dick, and Harry. That's how sad I was when I went to see that movie. Tom Cruise, bruh. I don't know if you had a Scientology trip, that movie, what? It was pure trash. Oh, my, but I digress. What's your What's your number one? Number one, I'm gonna say Daddy's Home 2. Oh! Mark Wahlberg. Piece of trash. Will Ferrell. Piece of trash. Terrible. 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 Now, you're gonna laugh at my top three okay. worst in the last five years. Okay. okay. This is no particular order, because they were all shitty as hell, for real. Fantastic Four, the very last one that came out with Michael B. Jordan. In the toilet. The next one. Independence Day Resurgence. What in the yeah, hell? What? Come man, on, that's a good man. one. That's a good Damn one. Damn it, man. You're ruining my childhood. <laughs> now, I'm going to say this is number one. Because when I went to see this, I left out the theater like my wife was getting a train ran on her by Tom, Dick, and Harry. My number one saddest Rejection, disappointment, was Power Rangers. Man, what? Yeah, man. <laughs> Bruh, let me take my shit off of that one. I came out that movie in tears. Like, <laughs> I was in tears, bro. Like, that movie was so sad. And my wife went with me, mm. and she had to hug me. Because mm. she was like, poor thing. You, you poor thing. Yeah, man. It... Let's break this stuff down. Why was Power Rangers so terrible? I felt like it had potential, like I was excited for it, big fan since I was a child. I felt like it was longer drawn out. It took them just about all of the movie just to learn how to morph. Oh. I have to say, man, the CGI was just a little too much for me. I yeah. understand it's Hollywood and you know, you know, they got all this money to spend, but it, it just looked, it just didn't do it for me. I just, it, it's too much. It, it was just too sucked. much. Yeah, that was one saving grace. Rita Repulsa, yes. not only was yes. she evil, she was sexy, she was conniving, and she was willing to kill in that movie. Yes, sir. That was it. You could have done a little bit more of that. That would have been a good movie. Let me know what y'all felt about that power rating. Now let's go, to, let's talk about this movie. What'd you hate about that? I just felt like the plot and the acting, like the, oh. the jokes, just really like terrible, like trying too hard type stuff. Yeah. Just, uh, the the little fake mummies that were supposed to be attacking people, that was trash. 
Now, the mummy herself, she was okay. Mm -hmm. She was evil. Now, what's the theme here with these movies? They suck, but they have good female leading evil people. Exactly. That, that, she was good. Tom Cruise didn't deliver in this movie. His love interest in that movie, she did okay, but overall, the experience was just not good for me. I, I was not happy with that. So, let me know how y'all felt about The Mummy. Next on my list, then we'll get back to his, The Fantastic Four. Oh, man. Oh man! Is that was there any redeeming quality with that movie? I'd have to say no. It, it, it was it was terrible. It was at the point where it came out on Blu-ray, steel books. Now, mind you, steel books are like thirty bucks when they first drop. Yeah. Best Buy was giving it away with a ten dollar purchase. Oh. That's how they weren't selling it at all. They had to get rid of it. Terrible, terrible. I wanted to return it. I was like, can I return this? It's terrible. Now you know a movie suck when they can't give it away. You know a movie suck when people don't even want to watch it on Cody. That's a terrible yeah. damn movie. Yeah. And my thoughts on the movie, I felt like it was completely rushed. I felt like the villain, they went too far from the source material with what they was trying to do with Doctor Doom. I just didn't like it. Weird, scrap it. Go ahead, hurry up and get that property, Marvel. Now let's go back to the things that were on your, oh, oh, Independence Day. What did you not like about that? Man, you know, I hate to say it, man. I wish Will was in it, honestly. That that kind of, when I found out that was happening, I was like, I had hopes for it, but I was like, uh. But then when I saw it, I was like, yeah, they, it, they did the most with this, man. They did. They did the absolute most with it. They didn't do nothing good with it. I felt like they just stuck a Trey Songz lookalike up there to thought that he was going to sell tickets. Yeah. He didn't do all that great. They started getting a, to the, a little bit too weird in the yes. story dialogue yes. for me. Yes. The action was lackluster. And I guess if you've seen the very first one and how groundbreaking that movie was when it came out in 96, you was kind of expecting something like that in this movie and it just didn't deliver. I would left that movie in tears again, sad, dejected, head in between my butt crack, just upset. Now let's get back to your list. What did you say was one of yours again? Ghost in the Shell. Go came out on my birthday. Let's talk about that one. I felt like Scarlet just wasn't it for the main role. Uh, it, I feel like they, if they went for looks, like yeah, but they could have found somebody, even some Snowjo off the street. I felt like could have could have handled that better. Uh, so you feel like it was a lot of the reason why the movie was bad was because of her acting? Yeah. What? Yeah, I do. I felt like she honestly because it, it's a. Uh, a woman of Asian descent, and I felt like she shouldn't have been oh. put in that role. And I know there was a lot of controversy behind it, and I can see why. I right. just felt like it, they should have just scrapped it at that point once they heard feedback from just just from trailers. So, so Scarlett just didn't do the job mm -hmm. in that movie. No, she, okay. she didn't do it at all. I'm gonna tell y'all how sorry it was for me. It was so sucky I didn't even see it. What else is on your list? <laughs> um, we touched on the Mummy. Yep, we touched Ghost on in the show. Yep. And I would probably say Power Rangers as well, man. Like I said, a big fan and just like a huge letdown. Like I remember coming home after school watching that, man, when I was a kid. And, you know, oh my God. They finally put it on the big screen, like again, and mm. you just like all that CGI just watered down and it, just. It felt like an after school melody. Where were the actual morphers too? Like, you know, I was, oh, yeah, I was yeah, looking yeah. for that. Like, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. If they do it again, man, they make a, a second one, which I, I would assume they would do better on all aspects, just do better do better. I'm going to give you an honorable mention that we didn't say in this movie, but y'all post your comments down and let us know how you feel about the ones we mentioned. My honorable mention is Transformers The Last Night. Ooh. Yes, sir. That, that is a good one. That, that didn't, let that die. Just let that die. You had a good run, but now it's just like, why? Why Why are you continuing? I know it's a money train, but please stop. It's like long and drawn out. Me sitting in the theater for almost three hours, and it's just like, just not pulling me in the right direction. I'm losing interest. You got too many things going on on one side, on the other side. It's just, no. Just please stop. It's, bro, it's just like, y'all got to stop going to see that stuff now. True. Because as long as that thing keep making 300 million or more, they're going to keep making them. Exactly. Don't go see it. Now, the, the latest news on Transformers is that they're supposed to be doing Transformers meeting up with G.I. Joe. Now, we could probably look forward to that, but other than that, y'all stop giving them your money, man, because yeah. these movies, they they have gone downhill since Shia LaBeouf left. Yeah. So, 
Is there anything you want to make an honorable mention for the crowd so they can know how bad you really feel? Man, I have two, not within the last five years, but I would have to say the Green Lantern movie with Ryan Reynolds, terrible. Side note, the game, the movie game, even terrible. Like, I never knew a Green Lantern would walk a whole entire video game. Horrible. Um, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Just slap me in the face, why don't you? Just pimp slap me. Hey, hey, man, you know I have a reputation to maintain because people know me for my for my love of getting these movie video games. You know what I'm saying? And so I actually liked that game. I just didn't like the fact that you couldn't fly. So I'm gonna have to pump the brakes on that one. Okay. Y'all leave me some comments down there. How'd you feel about that movie and that movie game? And what else is your other honorable um, mention? I'd have to say Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, it was, yeah, a, it was yeah. a hit show. Could have been better. Hit show on Nickelodeon. Could've Phenomenal movie. Lost it all. Yeah. Terrible. Horrible. Script, everything. Actors, horrible. Done. Never Done. again. Never again. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, those are our top three worst in the last five years. If we missed something, let us know in the comment section below. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Stay tuned. Y'all might be seeing this brother up here oh, a little yeah. more because he's got a lot in his brain he wants to say, yeah. and he wants y'all to hear. <laughs> Until that next Sex as Hell video, we'll see you.